Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Jerusalem. I'm Robert, and um, I have no idea why I'm dressed like this today. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you some uh, changes uh, that I have been making uh, in the uh, in the texture pack and uh, and elsewhere, and some things that I've been doing. Uh, let me get out of this mode right here. Hello, little people. And uh, look at that. You, this is customized, and um, <laughs> I did it. Yes, all on my very own. Uh, well, first of all, let's get some daylight so we can really see if I can remember how to spell the word time set day, and that'll make it, what, about 10 a.m.? Okay, so this is cobblestone, and you'll notice it's not gray. I've also... Um, uh, not only changed the color, but I have also eh, changed up some of the texturing so that it's not quite as... Uh, you'll notice with the clay down there, you see kind of a grid pattern formed. With the limestone all around it, you see a, a much more obtrusive kind of grid pattern. Those are things that I may also change uh, in this texture pack. This is Nodes Realistic Texture Pack. And uh, I am making changes specifically for Minecraft Jerusalem. Um, because we are in an environment where the stone is not always gray. It's more, it comes more in these sort of tan colors. And so I wanted to be able to use the kind of building blocks that are normally available only in stone. Look at that. There's a stone uh, staircase block. And we're just going to head this way and take a look at what I've done. This is not going to be a long video. I just wanted to give you a little update. I was doing some work the other evening. Now, if I uh, hit control, I'll run along nice and fast here at a good clip. So, uh, one of the things that's going to happen is is we're going to have retaining walls along the uh, along the edges of uh, of the limestone. And uh, as we as we build, you'll notice you have cobblestone. Uh, for the for the paths and uh, and then stone, uh, which both form steps and uh, and retaining uh, retaining walls, and along here and you'll see I still have the red sand in place where uh, I had drawn out various things on the large scale in the world editor. What is this? I'll tell you what this is. This is a drain. That's right. The uh, Roman roads, and I can't say they were built exactly like this, of course, but Roman roads had gutters, normally on both sides. But because we are building in very hilly country here, uh, mountainous country, uh, we are putting our gutters only along one side. And it was, uh, let me tell you, a little bit difficult to make a way for the water to always flow downhill <laughs> as we went along. Um, but at least on the downhill side of, uh, of the path, we have gutters that are going along. I thought that would, uh, that would be helpful to the traveler. And what happened here? Well, over here, we're on the downside here. And you'll notice something else that happens uh, as as we go along here. Uh, see, we're on the downhill side, and we're on the downhill side, whereas further down, we're on the other side of the path. But let's just continue until uh, it, it crosses once again. And again, you hit control, and you can move along at a sprint. See this? Look, here we go. And what does it do? It crosses the road right there. And uh, because this is so narrow right here, it doesn't trip you up. See, I go down in this one. But back there, it didn't trip me up at all because it was um, only half a block wide. The other thing that I did with this, in addition to the uh, 
to the gutters is uh, is I tried to make this uh, accessible along this way so this also forms a footpath uh, right by the rain gutter because you might have had um, anything going on here you might have had um, a centurion on, on horseback riding down and uh, the, he really frankly didn't care much if you were in his way or not. Look at this. Now I've got a problem here because that doesn't quite line up the way I want it to, does it? Hmm. So what do I do? Uh, I need to go in and uh, hmm. let me reopen that menu bar so I can see what I'm doing there. And now I've got a way to walk up without it being a, a jarring hop. And I need to do that there as well. I did that most of the way. Um, it's easy to miss things, so always go back over your work when you're doing something uh, in Minecraft. So here we have the footpath. We have the gutter for all the rain and the refuse and everything else <clears throat> that might be carried along in an ancient city. And this is not completely finished, but look at what happens here. We go back over to this side, and the gutter continues. Now let me just show you a little something here. Um, if I hit E, I can go to my inventory, and because we're in uh, cheater mode, we can uh, look for different items, and I am wondering... wouldn't be redstone. Well, let me go to the searched search area here. I'm going to search for uh, water. And what do I got here? Oh, I've got a water bucket. Well, that's cool. I'll take the water bucket. And I'll put that in my hand. And uh, let me... There, and that's my inventory where I have all the mess <laughs> that I have created. So I've got a water bucket here. So uh, if I put down some water right here, Whoops, uh, that didn't work. That's not what I wanted. Hey, come back, come back. <sighs> you know, I really ought to edit this out so that nobody sees the horrible mistake I've just made. What have I done? It's madness, I tell you, madness. Okay. Um, that was not what I wanted to do. You know, maybe I should have tested that before I um, got to work on this. Now, you should be able to waterlog a block. Yeah, and that's what happens when you do. So let me open that back up. This is not really meant. That's not an empty bucket, and that's why that doesn't work. Ah, huge differences between... Um, stop it! Between... Um, creative mode. There. Yeah, and that just water blo logs that block, so it's not really going to flow. So, okay, so much for that bright idea, Robert. Um, just so you know, this is uh, this is unrehearsed. <laughs> okay, so this is not going to actually work in Minecraft so that you have water flowing down it. This is purely a decoration to show the flow of water off of the street. The, the Romans did incredible work, um, and I, uh, King Herod the Great, when he was ruling over Israel and Jerusalem, uh, invested a lot of money and a lot of slave labor into um, uh, both beautifying and um, and engineering not only Jerusalem but the temple itself. And I've brought the road this far to the point where we come up to the temple proper. This is the edge of the retaining wall. The reason why that's still uh, a dark gray is because for some reason I used andesite on that portion. Um, you'll see, for example, where I used andesite here, 
don't know why, just grabbed it, I guess, and stone here when I was drawing this out in the, um, the world editor uh, program, which is included. And we're going to reset the time again. So all of this was gray before. Uh, a dark gray because it was stone, but I have repainted the stone texture so that it is um, now that it, now it's brown, and I can I can use stone, uh, I can use uh, stone bricks. There's a cobblestone block. Here's a cobblestone stair, and then a regular piece of cobblestone. Stone brick slab. Whoops, not that. Stone brick stair. And stone brick. And just for reference, here's the old sandstone slab and uh, a regular piece of sandstone. I've also recolored sandstone. You may remember before that it had like a, a small brick outline. I decided just to make it completely a chunk like a block like that so that all of the sides are smooth and they don't look carved at all um, and I think that that's a little bit better uh, idea of how to do that with the uh, with the blocks uh, again with the stone brick blocks and when I take the cursor off of it you'll see that it forms large bricks nice big blocks, actually, stone blocks, so that uh, I can create walls in, uh, in Minecraft Jerusalem that look like that. And I think that's going to be more helpful to me in terms of when I build the retaining walls and um, uh, both for the, uh, the huge temple complex itself and also, of course, as I go along the roads and uh, along the mountain sides because we're going to be adding in uh, a tremendous amount of detail as, as we go along. Um, all kinds of buildings are going to be in place. Um, somewhere around here is the Sanhedrin. Um, that's going to be further up. Uh, there's the outline of a racetrack uh, as we... Um, do this properly. Uh, these are still marking my roads, so I'm going to make roads out of all of these. They are not all going to have uh, this kind of uh, gutter and sidewalk system going along. This road is, is not yet finished. They're not all going to have gutters and sidewalks. Um, however, uh, uh, all of these roads will at some point uh, be sketched out and we'll um, continue uh, these represent more or less sort of building complexes. And by that, because they would add building onto building in ancient cities, uh, particularly in the poorer quarters, this would have been one of the better places. So there'll be, uh, uh, there'll be lanes and alleys, and uh, there'll be uh, uh, places where uh, this would be several homes, for example. Uh, there'll be homes and shops, and there'll be, I imagine this would be an open garden area right here, uh, just sort of a well that goes down and, uh, and a pool in it, perhaps, with uh, lots of lush vegetation and what have you in a courtyard. That sort of thing is going to be going on in these kinds of places. Uh, other other large buildings taking place. Back over here, I had mentioned before, this is where the Hippodrome uh, would have been, and uh, this was uh, this was a, a huge open air theater uh, that was located there. And again, these aren't just single buildings here; uh, these represent different levels and and layers. And you'll see how wide the areas are in between. Well, in front of these, uh, there might have been more things going on. You not only would have uh, roads going in between. Uh, but you, you might have uh, various stalls, you, you might have uh, all sorts of things going on. 
and uh, and then a major road going down along this way. These represent the major roads as opposed to the minor roads, and uh, and again still more areas as we reach the upper city of uh, of old Jerusalem until we uh, we continue on up to the summit of Mount Zion, and this was where uh, King Herod the Great uh, built his palace, which um, Mount Zion is actually higher than Mount Moriah, well off in the distance over there, uh, beyond the number of uh, 16 by 16 Minecraft landscape chunks that we're loading. Uh, count 16 this way, 16 that way, 16 back around, and that is a chunk. And so that's why you see it load up in the way that it does. Uh, this way was Mount Moriah, where, of course, the temple was built, and there was a high wall around. And actually, the priests would get upset because Herod tried to build his house tall enough so that he could look across the um, Tyropian Valley and see the top of the temple. And the temple had high summits, and uh, they just didn't care for it. Um, they were at odds with Herod. He was not, um, in, in, in their eyes, a pure Jew. Uh, he was an Idumean. Now, you'll notice here that these, these buildings actually <laughs> go scaling down the... Um, the side of the slope here. And again, we have another area going here. Somewhere along here, there is an aqueduct, um, which will have to be installed. Uh, my purpose is to, at the very least, uh, outline some of the major structures and identify them. For example, I think that might have been the Sanhedrin right there. I can't be absolutely um, so I'll check on that. Uh, this, of course, is uh, Mount Moriah and the Temple Mount. We've shown you that before. So uh, a lot of work to do. Uh, no end to it. Uh, one could spend a lifetime on this map uh, building walls, building homes, building shops, um, building roads, and uh, uh, putting in foliage and uh, livestock stalls and all of the things that, uh, and pools, and fountains, and aqueducts, and rain gutters, and all of the things, and uh, uh, castle walls, well, city walls, and uh, uh, defensive towers, and all of the things that were part and parcel of living in the ancient world. I'm not sure what we will tackle next week. Next week? Yeah, well, today's Sunday. I'll have this posted Sunday afternoon, so I'm not sure what we will post over the course of the next week. I'm going to be extremely busy, um, not only with my job, but, of course, I also prepare a sermon and attend services at Romar Beach Baptist Church, and I also, of course, um, am involved with South Baldwin Community Theater, and we are in rehearsals right now for The Miracle Worker. I am playing... Uh, Captain Arthur Keller, the father of uh, Helen Keller, you will remember her. Now, I've been trying to figure out why I've got horses and cows and pigs <laughs> all spawning here. And then I remembered because I had laid out the path of this tunnel. I had to lay it out on the surface, of course, but this tunnel... Uh, which was built in the time of King Hezekiah. I laid it out in a grass block. And so all these critters, the ducks and the pigs and the horses and the cows, uh, they spawn on these little grass blocks <laughs> because there's nowhere else for them to spawn. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to allow it. I don't see any reason to have to have to deal with that. Um, I'll let them go for now until we get some things built and then maybe I'll corral them if they're still around. They don't despawn. I'll corral them into separate places except the pigs. No, I'm sorry. No pigs. No pigs. No pigs. 
Be gone. I cast you out. How many hits does it take to kill a pig? <sighs> yes, no pigs in Jerusalem. I'm sorry. We're not having it. Okay? Not having it. No pigs in Jerusalem. There's another one. <sighs> I'll tell you what I need. I'll tell you what I need. Those of you who have played Minecraft before might recognize the item in my hand right now. That's right. It looks kind of like a, a scimitar, doesn't it? Well, this is a sword, a diamond sword. Die, pig! Die! I shall not suffer a pig to live. Not in Minecraft Jerusalem. Death to the piggies. Although I do like delicious bacon. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not Jewish. I'm not Islamic. I am, uh, I am a Christian, and so uh, all that is good for me. Except I'm on a diet right now. I'm not allowed any. I don't get bacon unless, uh, uh, unless, uh, unless one of my uh, sons comes to visit, and then my wife will, uh, will fix bacon for them. I'm just lucky to get some at any time. So um, here we are, <laughs> ending up another video, and I hope you will join us again as we recreate Jerusalem in Minecraft right here on Minecraft Jerusalem.